All right, welcome back to Boss Boss Game. I'm your host, Boss. All right, so now this is the finale, bro. Uh, apologize for it, man. Like I said, I didn't look up the game. You know, that's why, you know, I don't like spoilers in the games and stuff. That's why I don't look it up. The finale, down comes the rain. Let's see how it goes. Where's Leon? The AD-9 conspiracy entangled the ADDC's director, Keto, the same man who had unveiled it to the world. An unfinished drug that exacted human sacrifice. Yagami believed he had finally found definitive proof. But even that was swallowed by the darkness. All for the greater good of a drug that would save humanity. What's that? You look worse than I was expecting. I hear Kuroiwa paid you a visit. Yep. Just him and that baton he's got. Beat the shit out of us. He took Kido too. How'd things go with your stuff? We found Shono's lab, but the police are basically refusing to investigate it. Why? Chief Prosecutor Morita's defending 89. You for real? Whatever evidence was there is probably long gone by now. Yagami-san. Right. There's something else I need to tell you, too. What is it? This have something to do with Sugiura? Yeah, um... That's not actually his name. Huh? So you were Emi Terasawa's little brother, huh? Why'd you keep it a secret? At first, I wanted to make Yagami-san remember. Remember what? How he let my sister suffer. In my eyes, he was a scumbag who let a murderer walk. The murderer who then burned Emi to death. Damn, that's heavy. Go on. You don't have to hold back. Back then? I was just a shut-in fuck-up. My life was in shambles. Emmy was still there for me, though. When nobody else was. And then... Somebody murdered her. Someone as nice as Emmy. Dead. For no reason. But the world doesn't stop for that shit. It just keeps turning, and people go about their business. Over time, I started to hate what our whole society stood for. So, I'm guessing that's what led you to start that burglary ring? Pretty much. At the very least, I didn't want to keep living my life for other people. You know, when Emmy died, Nagami-san didn't apologize. Not to me, or to my parents. So that's when you guys first met, huh? Yup. We were totally different back then, though. Had glasses and long hair, so couldn't really see my face. That's why I didn't recognize you. Defending a murderer? You're just as guilty as he is. Those words cut deeper than you probably could have imagined. Even so, Okubo insisted he didn't do it. Since I was his lawyer, I couldn't apologize. That would essentially be admitting he was guilty. What about after the trial? I didn't apologize then, either. 
Instead, I ran away. Put it all behind me. Right. You didn't just walk away. You practically got disbarred. At least Okobo was getting the death penalty. It didn't feel good, but I settled for that. Then why'd you start hanging around Tuck again? Because he found his way back to the courtroom to deal with all this mole business. Even got a Yakuza captain off the hook. Well, it's not like I suddenly just became a lawyer again. Sure seemed that way from my perspective. So, I wanted to see where your head was at. Find out if you'd forgotten what you did to Emmy. If you were gonna pretend like nothing happened, I'd make you remember. And I'd make you pay for it. And that's why you approached me. Yup. I wanted to know what Okubo was up to, too. Find out if he was as afraid of death as he should have been. If anyone was gonna go see him, it was you. But now, it's looking more and more likely Okubo was framed. And I never would have known if I hadn't teamed up with you. Ironic, huh? Three years later, the real killer's finally clear. Now it turns out, Shono, he's the one leading the charge to cure Alzheimer's. He gets to go down in history as a hero? For what? Stabbing my sister to death? Burning her body? Don't worry. Everyone will see him for who he really is once the truth gets out. You weren't there today. The whole fucking system is protecting him. He bent the truth, suppressed evidence right in front of me. What's the point of fighting that kind of battle, huh? It's bullshit! You saw it too, right, Yagami-san? Right? Look, Sugira, ever since Emi-chan died, I've been running away from the truth. I was worried. Worried I wasn't gonna like what I found, that maybe I was responsible for her death. It was killing me. I couldn't bring myself to face it all. Talk. If you ask me, everyone has something they're trying to hide from themselves. But sometimes facing your fears is the only way forward. The real reason you came to me is because deep down, you wanted to know the truth. That sound about right? still true, we have our work cut out for us. We're gonna chase the truth as far as we can, even if it's in vain. Yeah, but all our paths are blocked. Who the hell cares? We'll blaze our own path then. Right, Tuck? <laughs> yeah. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. It's Mafuyu. What's up, Mafuyu? I need to speak with you about Morita. Wait, you're still here in town? Yes. I'm waiting at Tender. Do you think you could come meet me here? I... I think I'm being followed. What? It felt like someone was watching me all the way to the bar. I don't believe I'm imagining it. More of those bums the Ministry of Health hired? Or maybe one of the Chief Prosecutor's men. All right, I'll be right over. Thank you. I'm coming with. Igashi, keep an eye on Sugiura while we're gone. Huh? Why do... <sighs> Fine. Are you What's sure, here? bro? Face is all messed up, but... Man, I feel sorry for him, man. Man, dude. He had time, even when he was working with him. But then eventually, 
All right, the closest taxi is right here. We can go backwards. I don't think uh, he can run to anybody, so. I can't go backwards. Bro, that's, man. That got to hurt because, you know, when somebody like that passed, and you can't do nothing about it. Like, this is crazy, bro. All they path and block. Nobody's on their side. But they still like, yo. We're gonna, we, we, we're gonna do our best, bro. Against whoever. Please tell me this is, uh... Oh, this is a restaurant for shoes. Man, I thought it was a grocery store. I need some more food. Real quick, uh... Also, let's do our points real quick. Oh, we only got seven, bro. Man, we had a lot of points, bro. Shit. Mystery. Thanks for coming. How did it look outside? Did you see anyone suspicious? Not particularly. Seemed fine to me. Mind if I sit? What happened to your face? What? This? It's nothing. You said you wanted to talk to me about Morita? Yes. Specifically about how he acted tonight. It's hard to imagine the Morita I know doing that. It's almost like he's a different person. Almost like he cared more about politics than the law. Not surprising. He's right in the middle of this 89 mess. Thing is, Morita is the reason I decided to become a prosecutor. When my mother was killed in a hit and run, he was there to give me courage, show me a way forward. I've heard. That said, as for why he has an interest in protecting 89, I might have an idea. Hmm? About 10 years ago, something happened to his family. Perhaps that's what changed him, made him look the other way on this. What happened? Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure my theory is correct. It wouldn't be fair if I misrepresented the facts. However, I just spoke to a former police detective who handled that case. I'm about to get the case file from him. Where? We're meeting at the children's park. But it felt like I was being followed, so I didn't want to go alone. So, that's our job here? We're your bodyguards? Yes, at least... That was the plan, but seeing what already happened to you... You think a couple of scratches are gonna slow me down? We'll do it. Right, Doc? If you let us see the case file, what do you say to that? Of course. It's a deal, then. We'll be your escorts. Oof, that's cold. Extorting the poor girl? Guess chivalry's dead, Mafia-chan. Oh. Are you ready? The detective is waiting for us. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. I want to see what happened. Like, how did this end? Did everything come to light? Or did this fool get away from it and it's in Judgment 2? Well, do you see anyone? Not yet. There. Guess you were right on the money, Mafia Chan. Looks like yep. they want to fight, too. Yep. Those aren't let's chat over some coffee faces. So, what? Are they going to follow us the whole way like that? What should we do? You back off a bit. We'll take care of them. Let's go, Kaito-san. Yeah, a little, a little cricket. Ah. You got this! Ah. 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 
for you. Not happy. Thank you, Yagami kun. Keep going. Hell yeah. Oh. What? No love for me, Mafia chan? Hang in there too, Kaito san. Now we're talking. All right. Mafia chan's watching. So let's not screw this up. All right, let me get a bike. Ah, oh, okay. I got you. That's why I got this bike. Son of a... Nice. Uh, let me take this. Don't want to touch my girl, bro. Who's the next one? Who's next? Oh, okay. We gotta get some food after this. Chill, but... Bro, who is next? Oh, big guys. Oh, 
they're all over the place. <laughs> Last one. It. Ooh, Jesus, those are hot sauce in your eye. Grab this. I can't really hold it. Who's next? All right, here we go. This is the place. He should already be here. You said he's an ex-detective, right? Yes. Let's hear it. Uzawa-san, yes? Yep, that's me. Huh? 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 You're the detective from before. Oh shit, Yagami. You used to be on the force? How'd you end up so scruffy? I gotta ask you the same thing. Y you two know each other? Why'd you bring these chowderheads along? Well, uh, Yagami-kun, he's... He's sort of my boyfriend. What? Since when? It's not like that. Then why are you blushing? It's comedy hour over here. So, what do we have in the case? Ten years ago, Chief Prosecutor Morita's older brother strangled their mom to death. But... Why? A caretaker murder. Their mother was over 70 at the time. Afflicted with a severe case of Alzheimer's. And they were taking care of her. Yeah. It's hard to say what a dementia patient will do if you take your eye off them, even for a second. She apparently used to leave the stove on after she cooked or wander out in the middle of the night. None of the homes had any openings for her either. Ultimately, Morita's brother took care of their mom by himself. Seems he put the burden entirely on his own back. He quit his job and moved in with their mother, all to ensure Morita was free to do his duty as chief prosecutor. He barely took breaks, barely slept, for seven whole years before the incident. All he got from his mother in return was abuse. Verbal and... Sometimes physical. The hell'd she do that for? It's a side effect of dementia, though not all patients exhibit it. Some cases can be suppressed, but it doesn't always work out. At the time of the incident, 
Morita's brother was in the midst of a serious mental breakdown. I had to guess, he'd probably been about to break for months. And the result was him murdering his own mother. Whatever became of him after all that? Ah, uh, well, not long afterward, he tried to hang himself and failed. So they suspended his sentence until he was more stable. And where is he now? It says here he died a year later. By his own hand. Dude. After everything his brother did, Morida was removed from the spotlight for a while. But it seems that's all in the past now. Everyone recognizes him as an unquestionable leader on the Force. So then, Morita blames Alzheimer's for all the suffering his family faced. Most likely, yes. The tragedy could have been prevented if only 89 had existed at the time. And once it does, who knows how many situations just like it could be avoided. With a tragedy like that, no wonder he's defending it. He's sure as hell not in it for the cash. Not for reputation, either. Guy's just doing what he thinks needs to be done. I suppose I can understand that. Huh? You can? Hmm? Huh? You think that excuses everything that monster has done? He framed Ayabe, turned a blind eye to Emi-chan's murder, left Okubo-kun out in the cold. All because this fucking drug needs to get fast-tracked? How can you begin to think that's right? How? If Morita can decide what needs to be done, then so can we. I'm gonna protect every last person they've trampled. I'm gonna get revenge for Emi-chan. Interesting. <laughs> what is? Oh. <laughs> It's just, uh, really obvious you used to be a lawyer. Used to? I've still got my badge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, lay off the gambling, yeah? You lose more than you win. <laughs> Whatever you say. Yagami-kun, I think it'd be best if you hold on to these files. Yo, talk. Make sure she gets home safe, will you? Woo! Man. Alright. So, where are we going? Hey, since we're close, do you mind if we drop in on salary? Oh, sure. What's up? Oh. No reason. She just likes seeing the two of us together. Oh, uh, what now? Uh, whatever. I was gonna go fill her in on what happened tonight anyway. Why? Kido never would have ended up in Kamurocho if not for Saori. And her honey trap. A honey trap? You can't be serious. Yeah. Right here. This is down the street. Oh, god dang. I'm just running into everything, huh? Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, I, um... Uh... Yagami-san, I didn't realize you'd be stopping by. Awfully suspicious. Just what were you two up to in here? Um, not much. Guess we should go then. Hey, how did everything go with Kido? Hold on, I want to know what you two were up to first. Well, Hoshino-kun was just... Okay, 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 this is all just a big misunderstanding. Or maybe not? Or maybe it is. Maybe you'll get further next time. Is it just me, or is sorry son enjoying this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've heard. It's horrible what happened to Morita's mother. So the prosecution is all working to protect AD-9? The chief prosecutor is, at the very least. This is all my fault. 
I'm the one who told Morita that Yagami-kun would be there. If I had only gone to Izumita instead. Don't think like that. There's no knowing who's on what side. We can't trust anyone except ourselves. But... Um, can I say something real quick? I'm not sure I'm the best person to be defending Ayabe. Not against an enemy this powerful. What do you mean? Agreed. Hoshino-kun can't handle the pressure. It has to be you, Yagami-san. Oh, ha ha. Real funny. This isn't a joke. We're dead serious. Please, Yagami-san. We're going up against the people who murdered Emi-san. Do it for her. For Okubo-san. And for Shintani-sensei. It's time for you to show the world what you think is right. No more running. <sighs> yeah. I guess so. I'll let Genda-sensei and Ayabe-san know right away. This is bound to make headlines. I can see it now. Disgraced lawyer Yagami-sensei makes his triumphant courtroom return. Alright, do we really need the disgraced part? But... All right. If they both agree, I'll defend Ayabe. <laughs> Guess I'll need to start digging up some more evidence. Okay. He's getting back to the Lord. I thought so. In a way. Oh, damn. I knocked her out the way. Uh, about what you saw just now. <laughs> you mean the hand holding thing? Please don't tell Genda Sensei. I don't want things to be awkward. You walk Mafia to her taxi, okay? Okay. All right, come on, girl. Shall mm. we? Can you stay with me until I find my taxi? Yeah, got you. Man, this dude is just bumping into her like, all right, girl, shoot, move out the way. About to play that ludicrous song. All right. Go to the taxi, then. Come on. I right, gotta pay for the fare. <laughs> Thank you for helping me tonight, Yagami Kun. <laughs> huh? Uh, one second. It's Izumita. Now that I think about it, he left a message earlier, too. Did you listen to it? Yes. He said he wanted to talk. It sounds like he's at Majore. Majore, huh? Guess he wanted coffee instead of booze. <laughs> What should we do? You don't have to do anything. Go home where you're safe. Izumita might be on their side too. But... I'll go instead. You? Really? I'll be fine. All right. Stay safe out there. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we gotta head over there. I wonder how far it is, though. I wonder how far is it? And it's way down here, bro. Alright, we might run into a lot of uh, people, but it's all good. Uh, I keep trying to do this. Skills. Okay, we got three minutes. Oh, that's it. Peace. Uh, I ain't got no time for any girl, yo. Here you go. Ooh, speed. Alright. Next one is eat of those. But man, bro, what a turn of event, bro. Like, dude, they got everybody on their side, bro. So money can talk. Money can oh. Where are you? Nice choice. <laughs> Thanks for the money. Oh, you got knives. Okay. Oh, what the heck? 
Hey, what's up, gang? Have some fun, bro. Okay, that just happened. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I love that, bro. That, it's like you're chilling there all of a sudden. It's like, oh, wait a minute. All right. Hello, Right, let's see what you got, bro. You got some liquor. That'd be cool. Right, let's get some food. I just want to make sure we all like freaking. Thank you, man. All right, let's go. Let's head there now. That mess is funny, bro. That's why you be careful who you kick who you kick the car from, bro. Careful your road rage. <laughs> but anyway, man. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, Jesus. Long well, guys. What the? Heck? All right, let's switch. Lee, I need a block. <laughs> like, for real. Come on, Lee. I'm keeping this thing in my stomach. <laughs> Guys. All right, we need to head to a restaurant. We need some food, man. Yeah, we'll head to uh, in here, bro. Good place, right? Oh, okay. Here we go. All right, uh, let's try this. Let's try this. Try this. Try this, try this, try this, try this, and try this. Boom. Oh yeah, we got the empty uh, stomach and stuff, so we can just try all the foods and stuff. Good stuff. That food was like, bruh, I'm gonna eat till I'm full. Tried everything. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Hey. Oh man. I thought this was a way to get Ooh. into the thing. What should I do? Hey. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Even know what they just said. Mm. Hey, Dr. Pray. Here. Did you come alone? 
Yeah. Good. I sent Mafia you home. I could go for a chat and a coffee, though. Sorry, not interested. What did you have to tell Mafuyu? It has nothing to do with you. Oh, then how about I guess? Huh? The reason you wanted to talk to her was... Okay, hold up. Gotta be... Huh. I'm just gonna say, you was gonna confess, right? You were gonna confess your love, right? Come on, man. Be professional. <laughs> you idiot. Now's no time for your jokes. No? Well, in that case... Uh. You were gonna tell her to join forces with Morita. What? Am I wrong? I see what you're getting at. What happened with the chief prosecutor and that Ministry of Health bureaucrat? It wasn't normal. Not normal? That's a bit of an understatement. They want to protect 89 so bad, they ignored evidence of a murder under their noses. You're working with them too, aren't you? What are you implying? Chief Prosecutor Morita is part of a conspiracy to push 89 through, no matter the cost. Do you have proof of that? This. I got it from Mafuyu. It's a case file detailing a domestic murder within Morita's family. Sound familiar? This is the first time hearing of it. I'll give it to you, if you have the strength to fight. Excuse me? What happens if you find out I'm telling the truth? How far will you go, Izumira? Would you be willing to bring your own boss to justice? Of course. Ask a hundred prosecutors and they'd answer the same way. Huh. Maybe you're not as bad as I thought. This incident is what gave Morita motivation to support 89. That's how I see it, at least. This is tragic. Yeah. His sick mom strangled to death by his own brother. <sighs> Morita's doing what he thinks is right in all this. That's why he suppressed evidence earlier. Back at Shono's lab, I mean. <sighs> the mole killed countless people there. It's only natural there'd be traces left behind. Our case would be practically bulletproof if we found them. It's just, I... I can't believe you would do this. The way he acted at the lab, we have to believe he's wrapped up in this. Wouldn't you agree? Mm. Izumira! I... I guess I can't deny that. Right? But if he really is trying to protect 89... How do we stop him? What can we even do? Well, I was planning to use Aibe's trial to bring all the dark truths about 89 out into the light. That's why I chased Hamura down. Why I needed to find Shono's lab. But, Ichinose and Morita crushed those leads before they really even took off. And you don't have the ammo to stop them. <sighs> it hurts to hear the truth laid out like that. But, it is a relief knowing you're not on their side, believe it or not. <laughs> not sure this is the time to be relieved. <sighs> yeah, I know. Hey. Hmm? I was wondering, you think we could get Ichinose to testify? Get him called to the stand? Under what pretense? I don't know. Maybe to explain 89? He could be anything, really. He can't say no if the prosecution requests him, right? Then, what do we do once we have him there? We corner him eloquently. Shower him with questions until he gives up. Me and you both. Oh, wait, that's your big plan? Hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. We don't have a chance of winning if we're not willing to take some risks. Okay, I'm in. 
I'll let you know once I've made the arrangements. <sighs> what a day. Uh, what is a day? All right, so what are we about to do? Highball. Well, I guess we just rest up. Oop. We got a long walk. No, we don't know. Okay, cool. Let's go. I run into some thugs and stuff, but man, this story gets better and better, bro. Like people that you never would have thought of, you'd be like, wait a minute, hold up. All right, so let's rest up real quick. See what happened next, man. Like my my mouth is like dropping right now. So basically, it's up to Izumita whether or not Ichinose shows at the trial. The question now is, how do we press Ichinose once he's there? Before we get too far, Genda-sensei and Ayabe are both on board with Yagami-san representing the defense. The lousiest lawyer ever, back in the court. <laughs> Looks like it. Now, let's talk about our next steps. First on the agenda, though. <laughs> what do we call Sugiura now? That's your next step? It was, uh, Terasawa, yeah? I'm fine with Sugiura. Why change it up now? Fair enough. Um, speaking of next steps, I'd like to try putting some pressure on Kido again. Maybe we could use the video Sari-san helped us get to force him into testifying for us. Good plan. Anyone else? This doesn't have anything to do with the case, but some shit's going down in the Matsugane family. We can talk about it right after this, Yagami. Roger that. What's up? Just so you know, I'm gonna go talk to Okubo soon. He still thinks Emi-chan's family hates him for what happened. I need him to know that's not true, if that's okay with you. Sure, I'm fine with it. Ooh, okay. So we gotta deal with the Montgomery family. But first, let's talk about you everybody. You wanna go see Yokobo, Yagami-san? Yeah. I wish you could come too, but civilians can't get that kind of clearance. It's okay. It is how it is. <sighs> Everyone, I don't got nothing to say. Oh, man. Real. All right. Let me look in the fridge. Food. All right. You said something's going down with the Matsugane family? Yep. It's all pretty much gone to shit. After the patriarch died, everyone just kind of went their separate ways. Especially the younger guys. Is anyone trying to hold the family together? Guy named Kengo, yeah. You beat the stuffing out of him once or twice, remember? He was one of Captain Hamura's golden boys. There's kind of something up with him, though. What? You'll see when we get there. Want to tag along? And then... I'd like to talk to Kido if possible. He'd make a valuable witness in Ayabe's trial. We've got some dirt on him, too. Yeah, thanks to Saori-san's little adventure. He won't be able to turn us away once we remind him of that. All right, so we gotta choose our next step. But guys, I am a little bit tired, bro. I'm a little tired. So let me save it. And I will get to the bottom of this soon. But first, let's check the messages, see who got us. Oh, it's the <laughs> Uh, she's like what's up yo but anyway guys thank you guys for watching like subscribe to your channel until next time i'm out to be continued